So now let's start, let's start with logical operator. Now this logical operator, so let's say we have uh, this expression here. Now this will evaluate to either 1 or 0, right? Because this is one condition. So we are comparing 3 is not equal to 4, which will return 1, right? Now let's say we have two conditions. I have two conditions in this way. So I have this, this is the first condition here. The second condition I want to give is 3 is greater than 1. So I have two conditions. One is 3 not equal to 4 and 3 should be greater than 1. For this to combine these two expression, we can simply use uh, and we want both to be true. If both are true, then only I want to go for the result which is true. So we can use ampersand ampersand. So I hope you know about the logical or what you say, the logic thing which is ampersand, which is your uh, AND operator and you have OR operator. So that's your AND operator and OR operator. So uh, when you talk about truth table, so let me go for a quick uh, recap of logical or lo of logic. So if you have a AND table, so in AND, if you have both true, then only you'll be getting output as true. If you have one true and second is false, so you'll be getting false. If you have false and true, so you'll be getting false. And if you have false and false, you'll be getting false. Okay, so this is your AND table. And then we have OR table, which is if both are true, you'll be getting true. If, let me just reuse the code. It's enough of typing now. Okay, and if you have true and false, you'll be getting true. If you have uh, false and true, you'll be getting true. And if you have false and false, you'll be getting false. So this is the truth table for AND and this is for OR. Perfect. So if you have both true, you'll be getting true. Otherwise, you will get false. If both are, if any one of them is true, you will get, you'll be getting true. Otherwise, it will be false. Now, if I give you expression where you have F in, at the start of AND, will you check T? Of course not, right? If you are getting first as F, of course your answer is F. So that, that point you have to remember for the for example. Okay, that's your AND table and OR table. So let's implement this in, in the code. So we, we have two conditions here. If this, if this evaluates to two, uh, T and this is also T, you will be getting T. If this is F, then it will be F without checking this value. And if this is T, then you have to check this one also for T of T or F. So when I say T or F in C programming, it is one and zero. Clear? So let me check, let me say this is three equal to equal to four. And as soon as I say three equal to equal to four, it becomes false, right, which is F. And if you check this condition, check this triangle here, it says code will never be executed, which simply means if this is false, this will never be checked. So if your first thing is false, you'll, the result will, will be false. This is the logic of AND operation. Okay. But time will not focus on the logical operator. So we have double AND, which is AND operation. So if this is false, your result will be false, which is zero. And if I run this, you can see the output is zero. If this is true, if I say not equal to four, and if I run this, you can say it is one. Simple. So that's how you use logical operator, which is logical and operator. We can also use OR here. So to use OR, we have to use two pipes. So two ampersand for AND. So let me write it in a comment. So it is two ampersand is AND and two OR or two pipes is OR operation. Simple. So this is a logical operator, logical operations in uh, C. Now if you run this code, you'll be getting as one is because this is false, also this is true and this is also true. But let's say if I make this false, if I say equal to equal to three, I mean three is equal to equal to four, which is false, it will check for this one, which is true. Again, it will get one. But let's say if I make less than, so this is false and this is false. So F or F, you'll be getting F. And if I run this, I run this, yeah, it's zero. 
Simple. So that's how you use logical operator in C.